Today we're going to be fixing a leaky sink because that's what I woke up to this morning. I'm going to show you how to replace your basket assembly and sink strainer. So stay tuned as we tackle this common household problem. Here's the tools you're going to need to replace your basket assembly for the kitchen sink. There's the new basket assembly. We want a large flathead screwdriver, channel locks. You want to make sure they go up to two inches because most piping under the sink is one and a half inch. Needle nose pliers. And we have silicone corking right there, cork gun. We have cleaning vinegar and the most important thing, a nice hot cup of tea. So when you're actually looking for leaks, a huge telltale sign is follow the rust. <laughs> so we know these are, they're, these are quite dirty now and there's probably a bunch of crud in there and, and uh, mineral buildup. So these nuts here are probably going to be really hard to remove. You just follow the rust, you know water trickles down. So this is where we detected the leak. So this is all going to come off. So first things first, we've got to loosen the gasket on the top side of the sink. So you see this nut right here. It, it's perfect to fit a flathead screwdriver in. It's got to be a pretty big one. So we're going to start to loosen this up by just inserting the screwdriver and uh, twisting it just to make sure that we get this nice and loose. Now, once you've loosened this middle nut here, um, don't take it off because now we're gonna hop under the sink and loosen the uh, basket from underneath. And we wanna be able to secure this because this may spin when we try to loosen the nut underneath the sink. So we wanna, this is where the needle nose pliers come in to hold this in position while we loosen the nut underneath the sink. I do love the smell of vinegar. Makes me want to have fish and chips. So just spray that on. I'm going to let that sit five to ten minutes. While I'm waiting for the vinegar to do its job, I'm going to have a cup of tea. Oh, it's bloody lovely. That is bloody lovely. So now it's time for the channel locks. Now, when I go to turn the lock nut, what's happening is it is also turning the basket. So that's why we didn't take the upper gasket um, off yet because we wanna be able to now stick the needle nose pliers into the sinkhole so it secures this part and gives me the opportunity to loosen this nut. Now surprisingly, might because of my white, my white vinegar trick, but this is coming out quite easily. So we've got movement on that. That is great, a lot of gunk around that. But now this is the one we need to loosen up also. So once you've loosened all your nuts, loosen your nuts, unscrew this one all the way. And we should have enough leeway just to pull that out. Okay. There it is, the old one, absolutely disgusting. We're gonna take the gasket. This is the, the top of the gasket, so we're gonna pop that out the sink now. And then we have the tailpipe. So there's the tailpipe, just a little pipe. So now we take that old washer off. We take the uh, lock nut off. And then we also now wanna unscrew this one because we're going to replace that one with the new brass one that we have oh my god i think it's almost time for a beer so here's the really important part now all this stuff here this is like old uh sealant that's all gotta come, gotta come off it's all gotta come off so change of plan i was just going to use some uh silicon for the uh, sink strainer part but I actually found my plumber's putty, so that's what I'm going to be using. This is absolutely ideal, kids, so that's what you want to use for this part. So now we're going to put in the uh, top part of the sink strainer. Let's get prepared for this. We're going to take off the lock nut, take off the slip nut. And 
and we're going to separate the strainer from the bottom gasket. So this is the part we're going to work with right now. Okay. Now for the plumber's putty, we're going to grab a bunch of this and start to roll it out, just like making an apple pie, because this is going to go along the flange of the strainer. When you roll this out, you want it long enough to go around the whole area, but you also want it thick enough. So thickness, well, probably as thick as your pinky finger. Roll it out. If we take this now, look at that. So make sure it goes all the way around. Now remember, I took out the tailpipe. So before we put the upper uh, strainer in, we are going to make sure that we put this pipe back in before we put the strainer in. If we put the strainer in before this goes back in, then we're not going to have enough space here to put it in once the strainer's in, because the strainer is going to come down by a good three inches. Okay, so the reason why I didn't secure the uh, strainer, and it wouldn't have given me enough room if I'd have secured the strainer, it wouldn't have given me enough room to put in the, the basket here. So I've left this loose so that it can just lift and put on. But before I do that, I want to show you, there's two washers here. There's a friction washer and it's kind of like a cardboard one. You want to keep that and then on goes the rubber washer. So the cardboard one first, then the rubber one. So I'm going to lift the strainer that's in the top of the sink. And then get my lock nut and start to turn that on. Well, not turn it on, but start to secure the strainer. Now that that's in, I'm going to go back up top, press in the strainer, clean off the access putty, and then I'm going to tighten these bolts. Okay, so now that we have the tailpipe in place, and we have our plumber's putty on the strainer, time to put the strainer in. So the strainer is in, plumber's putty is on, press that sucker down as hard as you can. Yes, it's going to ooze out the sides, but that's okay, we'll clean that off. But that is nice and secure now, and we'll just take some of that off now, and then we'll come back and clean that up. So now I've got the bolt on underneath the sink, this, the uh, lock nut. I've come back up here and I've pressed down the strainer as hard as I can go. And we'll just clean up some of that plumber's putty that's oozed out. The plumber's putty I use is the, uh, the Dactly Stain Free plumber's putty. Works wonders. So now that we've pressed down on the strainer above, I'm going to start tightening this lock nut. I'm not going to tighten too too much, I'm just going to tighten it with hands because now I'm going to attach the slip nut. You might just have to pull on the pipes a little bit. Don't pull on them too much because you don't want to fracture them. Okay, so they are nice and tight. This nut is pulling the tailpipe securely onto the basket. This top nut, the uh, lock nut, locks the basket in place with the upper strainer. Righty tighty, remember. Now when you start tightening this, you may see some plumber's putty oozing out the bottom. That's okay. If you see any, just clean it off. And now we're going to give the slip knot a tighten also and hopefully no more leaks we shall see i think we're good feels pretty secure Oof. that's it right so here's the test plug going in the new strainer bang that in i'm gonna fill it fill the sink with some cold water Cold 
couple of inches. Okay, for the plug. Cleaned all under here, so they shouldn't be, should be dry as a bone. Kids, I think I've done a pretty good job here. Get okay, a feel around. Nothing. That's it. There you go. So I'm going to be honest, <coughs> first time I've done that. Seemed a little daunting when I first looked at it, but you know what? Turned out okay. See, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. I have earned this today, big time. Oi. Cheers to you. The end.